Welcome to class. It's great to have you. You'll find over the course of this year that I'm a little bit odd and I don't always do things like most teachers do. And I think that you'll come to appreciate that and I think you'll come to like that. Hopefully throughout the course of this year you'll be able to use videos like these to help you get used to how my class goes and to be as successful as you possibly can. If I have one goal for the entire class for the entire year, it's that you learn to become the best person that you can be. You'll notice that has nothing to do with history, that has nothing to do with social studies. That's got to do with you. So I try to personalize your work and your lessons and your projects as much as possible. You're going to get a lot of choice, you're going to get a lot of options, and that puts a lot of the responsibility on you. I'm excited about this year and I'm excited to see what you all do in my class. The purpose of this first video is just to get you introduced to Moodle, which you should already know how to get to, seeing as you're watching this video. So let's get ourselves back to Moodle. Now as I do this, let me remind you, feel free to pause this video at any time if you need a chance to get caught up uh, on your own screen. That's the purpose of these videos, is for you to be able to work at your own pace. So I'll click over to Moodle here, and you see you have all your courses uh, that you can choose from. I'm going to click on government and this works for either government or modern world history it doesn't matter which of my classes you're in both of them are very similar in how they're set up. If we scroll down there's lots of information here but what I want to focus on is the first module that both of my classes are going to be completing the technology module. So if we click on that technology module it starts off with an introduction up here. It gives you a couple goals that you should achieve throughout the course of the unit or the module. And then the first thing you'll see in every unit or every module is a checklist. I love checklists to keep yourselves organized, so I use them a lot. The checklist, when you click on it, is completely based on the honor system. You see, I haven't completed the government interest survey, but I can still click it and it shows that I have. This isn't worth a grade, this is just to help you stay on track and help you keep track of what you still need to complete. Now with the with a checklist set up the way that it is, some things are indented, which means they're moved to the right, like this one, send an introductory email to Mr. Chambers. If it's indented, then that means it's part of whatever came above it. So in order to send an introductory email to Mr. Chambers, you first need to successfully log in to your center school district email. There's another video if you need help with that, uh, or you can just, if you know how to do it, go straight to your email and go ahead and send me your email, and then you can check off both those items really quick. Now, I haven't done them, so I'm going to uncheck, and my checklist will go back to 0% complete. If we go back to the previous page, some of the things that you'll see are embedded, which means that they show up right there in the Moodle page in front of you. A great example of that is this video. This video uh, is an introduction to the new laptops that you all just got. Others though, like the uh, Windows 8 introduction, are pop-ups and they will pop up either in Windows Media Player or in your video uh, app on your laptop depending on what you open up with. When you get done with a module or if you want to navigate to a new module, you have a couple options. You can either click uh, on the next module with this arrow right here and it'll take you to the next module, module 1 or you can go back to the main course page at any time and you can look through whatever modules you want. As you can see I'm still building this course uh, so not all the modules are completed but by the time you get here you'll have a lot of these modules opened up and you can work through them at your own pace. Now you do need to go in the correct order so don't start off with module 4 or something like that because you'll be off track with the discussions and the projects that we have in class. You are welcome to move as quickly through the modules as you want, but please keep in mind we are doing a lot of group stuff, we are doing a lot of projects, we are doing a lot of discussions, we're doing a lot of in-class activities, and if you move too far ahead, I'm still going to ask you to come back during class time, so I still expect you to be able to be a good participant in those class things no matter how quickly uh, you move. So that's it for this video. Check back in for the rest of the videos on the other uh, technology units, and you can work your way through the different technology pieces we have in this class. Good luck, and as, uh, if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me, uh, either by email or in person. Look forward to this year.